hi guys so i know everyone has been quarantined or whatever not me i still have to work during the day so but i do have to work out at home because my gyms are closed so thank god i have a treadmill and a couple of dumbbells and stuff that i had recently bought to work out at home so today i'm going to be doing a um back and leg workout i'm going to try to do like an upper and a lower body on my um I mean like an upper and a lower body kind of workout a couple times a week I feel like I burn more calories like that so I started off of course on the treadmill um, nothing special I just do my normal walk I normally walk fast on a regular so I usually just put it a little bit like two points over what I normally walk and I'm fine and I usually do that for like 15 minutes on an incline because I feel like it's just it works you it burns more calories when the um, treadmill is on the incline and I just like it better anyway all right so the first workout is the lat pull down I have this attachment with the um, resistant bands for their door so it can mimic a lat pull down so the colors indicate like the strength or like the resistance so just pick whatever you want you obviously have to try it out so when you put one you pull you know you do the movement and see how that works out for you so um that's what i'm doing here i kind of like test my placement of like where i am and how hard or easy it is so um, I'm on my knees because I need uh, like the range of motion is way better because when you're standing, you probably have to stand a little bit further. I don't know. In the lap pull downs, you are a little bit lower on a regular machine anyway. So um, I did this. I did 15 reps of this because um, my resistance bands don't go as high and it is kind of harder with bands for some reason. I don't know it's weird it's the weirdest thing so I did that for 15 reps and then right after that I did some lunges and for this one I did <clears throat> I'm sorry I did uh, alternating like front lunges with 15 pound dumbbells and the 15 the dumbbells are 15 each so um, thank God I have bought these dumbbells like they're big they have been like so much in use in our house <laughs> they were like worth every penny but um i you could do these without weights and then you know bump your way up with the weights so i did these first and i also did 15 reps i tried to do like the same reps that way i'm not getting confused So now I am doing a row. I did more of a higher row and I kept the resistant bands the same as the same, um, how you say it? The same <laughs> resistance as the lap pull down. That way I'm not like doing too much. So these are more of a higher row. See how my arms are a little bit higher instead of lower down like near my stomach. So um, this kind of works for like your upper back, I guess. Um, I did this and I'm in like a squat kind of position I guess because it kind of balances you out a little bit more and I'm just showing you guys like a side view of it I, I, I was trying to get a couple angles since like my phone and like the way my basement is shaped it doesn't you know you know you can't really see like the whole thing but um this is how it looks from the side and I also did 15 reps of this and then I went on to do another set of lunges So the other set of lunges I did, um, I think I did back. Oh yeah, I did the same weight, the 15 pounds. And instead of going forward, I did back lunges. But instead of alternating, I did per leg. So I did the 15 for one leg, um, back to back, and then the 15 for the other one. And then I went back to doing the rows. So this is how it looks from the side. And this kind of works your like balance. That's why I like these because I'm not really like stopping. 
So I did 15 on each leg and then I went back to doing the rows. So my next workout is a straight arm pull down. So I had put the attachment back up on the top. And this one is basically a lap pull down with your arm straight, I think. I don't know. So with this, you want to use a less weight because you are using your arms. So when you put too much weight, you're kind of not working the muscle that you need to be working because you're trying to like pull the weight down because it is hard. So I'm over here adjusting it because I really thought I could do two of them and I definitely couldn't. So I just went down to like one and see I'm testing it out. You want to test it out and adjust the straps because you have to make sure both straps are even on both hands when they go down. So see how I'm keeping like my hands a little bit more like they're not really, really straight. They're like a little bit bent. So that's kind of what you want. And I um I'm a little bit like on an angle. I feel like for me that works out better and I feel it more in my lats. For some people it's different, I don't know. But I don't know, this works out for me. So whatever works out for you, whatever position you're, you, like works for you that you feel it in your lats, just do it. And this is another just like a side angle of how it looks. And um, another reason why you don't want to go too heavy because you see how my triceps are like engaged or whatever. <laughs> if you go too heavy, like you really do work out your triceps for some reason. So I try to keep it low and I did 15 reps of this as well. And then I did a squat, like a goblet. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. I just know it's a squat, basically like a front squat to me. I took my one dumbbell and it's like the 50 pound dumbbell. And I did squats more like a closer kind of um, leg position because I do want to more focus on my quads for this workout. So I just did that and I did 15 reps of this as well. And then I'm just showing you guys how the front looks like where my um, feet and like where I'm holding the dumbbell and stuff. I mean, I'm not perfect at this. This one is a little bit hard because you are trying to balance the weight because the weight is in front of you. And, you know, you don't want to go forward and then whatever. And then this weight, it's a dumbbell, so it's kind of awkward to hold it. So just try to like do your best to like keep it balanced. So to finish off the workout, I did a uh, jumping movement. So I did jumping lunges. This shit is hard as hell. So um, I did it without any weights. These are super hard for me, but I'm trying to like practice. So I try to do like around 15 of these on each side. And then I just superset this with some, oh wait, this is the front, just so you guys could see how the front looks and the side. And um, I superset this with some bicep curls because I like doing these on my lat pull down days, my back days, because you're kind of working that out anyway when you're working back. So I just did, uh, I just used 10 pounds of these and I did 15 reps as well for this um, workout. And, um, but that was pretty much it. I didn't do anything, so I basically did um two four six eight workouts eight exercises um 15 reps three sets of each so um that was it it was like harder than what it looks and i really like this workout um i was trying to put together like a whole body workout and i really do like this combination but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i didn't do anything at the end but um i see you on the next one